Well, Coach Wharton, Panthers' new assistant offensive line coach, you know, it's funny, last time we talked on camera, uh, not on a TV show, we talked about it wasn't goodbye, we'll see you later. Yeah. You came back, did the internship. Now you had to be excited about this opportunity. I, I'm very excited uh, to be back here in this building, this meeting room. I'm familiar with everything that's going on around here. Um, it's a great opportunity for myself and my family on um, the next step in, into coaching. One of the things that is awesome about this story is the job that head coach Ron Rivera does, reaching back to former players, mentoring them, getting them in the internship program, and now you see it come full circle with a full-time job on the staff. Yeah, it was just last year uh, debating, should I apply for the men internship? And I, it was probably one of the best decisions that I made of coming in um, and working my tail off in the internship, doing whatever was asked of me and a little bit more, um, being around the guys and understanding what it takes to be a, a NFL coach. And that's hard work and dedication. Well, we had a chance to follow you around during that internship. And one thing that was, was striking to me is the connection with the younger players. And you know, with a guy like Ray Brown moving on for the Cardinals job, that's the need there for this team to take guys from where they are as a college player and build them up. Is that part of your mission? It is, to teach. Teach, give, share, share some knowledge, you know, share some knowledge. I've been out there a few plays, um, share that knowledge with those guys, uh, you know, tell them, show them how to work, you know, how to be prepared for game week. You know, that's exciting for me to go out there and, uh, and, and teaching them the playbook. You know, let's take what we do in the meeting room and let's transfer it out on the, out on the football field and let's go, you know. When you look at this unit, these guys playing behind me, you talk about guys like, like, like Trey Turner, and you look at the talent along that line, there's a lot to build on, isn't there? It is. You know, it's, it's always great when you have a group of guys that want to come and work. You know, it's, it's not work for them. It's fun. It's football, but it's work. And you get a guy that's eager to learn, that asks a bunch of questions. I remember last time all those guys was asking me questions after question after question, and that was exciting because they're not just taking it for granted. They know they have the great opportunity to work together and build something special in this room. Talk about the guy that you will work for, John Matsko. I mean, one of the best teachers in the game. Now you, you know, you've played for him, now you get to come back and, and coach with him. It's gonna be exciting, it's gonna be tough, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be all those things wrapped into one. Um, someone who knows the game inside and out. You know, um, that's the exciting part. He's not just an O-line coach. He can tell you what everybody's supposed to do on the field. And that's taking your game to another level in coaching and teaching, understanding what the defense is trying to do and, and being able and being prepared for it to make those adjustments, those adjustments that we made as a player at halftime and how we'll fix a problem, that type of things is, is what I'm looking forward to, uh, working with Coach Masco and taking it to the next step. All right, let's drill down a little bit. When you look at a young offensive lineman coming in out of a college system in today's game, what's the number one thing they have to work on? You know, first of all, you kind of got to erase a lot of things that you learn because you're starting over. You know, it's a different mentality, understanding that nobody's going to babysit you. You got to learn this playbook. You got to ask those questions. Even when you're afraid, ask them, follow some, uh, watch a veteran, how they conduct themselves. It's all that wrapped in the one when you come in this building. It's like no other. You're here. You're a professional football player. Uh, you worked all, your whole life to get to this point. Don't ever forget that. You worked your whole life to get to this point, and don't take it for granted. So study. Put the video games and all that other stuff down and study this playbook. Learn it. Ask questions. That's going to help you. Ask questions because you're going to get drills, and you're going to be able, and you got to be able to work on your own without a coach around. you got to work on your craft. you got to love what you do. It's too tough not to like it. You know, it's too much of a grind. you got to come in, and you have to be prepared mentally and physically to play in the NFL. A lot of people talk about offensive linemen, they talk about size, they talk about strength. Getting that mental edge when you become a professional, how important is that? It's important because it's going to be draining if you don't. You have to be mentally prepared going in a week, knowing who you're facing, what all the dangers that they can do to you on a Sunday, but also being tuned in the game plan. So you'll know those adjustments. So at halftime, this is what we're going to do. We're going to offset some things. We're going to shift some things right. You can't be just in your own little box. You got to be wide open. You got to know what everyone's doing 
And that's the best part about this room. When you leave out of here, you're going to be prepared mentally. Um, you got to go out there and play physically, but mentally you're going to be prepared and you're going to know what everyone's doing. And that's what gives a, this team, a, this offensive line, a great edge because everybody knows where everyone's supposed to be at and you can keep playing fast. Okay, last question. Because I know it hadn't been that long you were on the field. Do we need to make sure you have your own get back coach? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm excited to be around football. I love football. It's been, uh, it's been great for myself. Uh, I'm a little shy kid from Fountain Inn, South Carolina, man, and I was able to come and play college ball and NFL football. I love the game, um, and, and this is me. I, I love this. I'm excited to be back in this building and to be able to help these young guys and just really get out there and make everyone better. But we don't have to worry about you showing up in a huddle one time. No, you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about that. You know? <laughs>